Joseph Clyde of AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fame YouTube channel bringing you another disastrous episode of grid work at least in the initial stages today is November 25th 20 and 15 this is geoengineering on a daily basis and let me show you what we got in that western sector a bunch of cloudoids they fluffed up they had look at the soot over here I mean, they sprayed all night to get this to happen. It's already really low as I keep panning around into that western sector. Get a good look. Look at the disastrous soot that has fallen from the sky over here. And that's not rain. That's soot. Over here as well, the soot's falling. See the soot? All up here, major orange peel. It's so thick. They've got it so thick that it's ridiculous. The only hole in the grid is the polluted blue sky out there see how light it is should be dark over here I don't know what kind of a mix they used here underneath here look at that and then the other mix on top of that pushing that down over here you may say well it's raining no that's not rain okay it's soot it's all falling from the sky look it's just hanging there see the soot it's just hanging there what part of this don't you get over here again soot's falling and hanging and over here, look at this menagerie, a swirl, little plasmatic ball right there. But over here, look at this. Look at that. Come on. Looks like a blanket of soot. And this is falling out of the sky over here as well. And I'm going to go have some breakfast. This is ridiculous. Happy Thanksgiving? Not a chance. I almost missed this. Look at this. You can see the rays of the sun shining down as the soot falls from the sky. Look at that soot. Here's some more evidence that they're spraying over top of the existing plume. There's a chemtrail rail right there. Okay, right in the great wide open of the blue sky that we have left. The only hole in the grid. Look at this plasmatic bomb here. It's just a sheet of black soot that's covering over, uh, over us. If you look below that, you've got a bunch of white soot that's already falling from the sky. Orange peel, as whatever they tried to bring in didn't work. But over here in that eastern sector, whoa, Nelly. Also got some fin work up there somewhat. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's there. Oh my gosh, it's so dramatically notorious, devastating to our earth. On my way to Phoenix, and look at this. Looks like a railroad right in the sky is soot. Further evidence, not clouds. Look at this down here. Looks like polluted water with foam bubbles on the top. There's the water down there and foam bubbles on the top. Here's something to shine all along. Rainbow on those fins. If it comes out. Over here too you can see a little bit of a chemical rainbow on the edge of that set. Back on that rainbow. Look at the color. Do you still try to think those are cloud formations? There's a rail right there a guy just sprayed, right into the plume. Over here, check out the wisps. And then there's that oil paint mix that the Indigo Skyfold pilots were talking about. There it is. We feel it is. And then the fin work over here. They're not done. More notorious cloudoid formations. You ever see the like? Chemtrail rails over there, you can see them. Look at that. Triple rails. Checking out the cell tower activity. Looks to me like a stingray hub with LRADs. Getting ready. See how they're extending the rails in that horizon. see the rails. They extend whatever damage they've done. Extending it out even farther. As 
we get closer to Phoenix, I just want to focus in on the haze and soot along that mountain range. Some locals have said this is the worst they've ever seen it. Get a good look. You can taste it. Checking on the cell tower on our way to Phoenix. Look at this bad boy. Looks like Stingray on the top. Stingray on the bottom. LRADs in between, perhaps? Don't know. Get a load of this. Do you still think this is a cloud? God help your soul. That looks like one big nasty plume just went by. Because clouds do not go in a straight line. Get a good look. And it looks like sprayed plume. All the way across. Check out the black fins. Look at the soot. Just starting to fall as the sun goes down. This is white soot turns into black soot. But those fins. Look at the depth of those fins. Documenting cell towers now. Look at this bad boy. cell tower documentation. Look at this bad boy. LRADs, stingrays, and then he's got one over here, the pitchfork. Just outside of Phoenix, checking out the cell tower arrays. We thought we had a bad in Cottonwood. Look at that bad boy. Look at that cell tower. It's not even high. Tree light. Got an antenna right on the top. These lights don't have any antenna on the top. See? No antenna. We're on Bell Road and whatever city this is, close to Phoenix, outside of Phoenix, and look what's on top of this. Surveillance State, USA. Later we got some more Thanksgiving plume. Happy Thanksgiving to you people. Look at this. Happy friggin' Thanksgiving. Look at the friggin' plume already. They're railing the hell out of us. These already been whisked, chemtrails. We know these have already been whisked, chemtrails. Look at the mess they got built up in there. Look at this chemtrail bomb that went through there. That's Look at the funny disbursement through there. Southern sector, black soot already falling from the sky. Wonderful news on a happy holiday. Jeez. And we got another guy bringing up the rear just moments later with another rail over the existing plume. Looks like a blue bottom silver bullet just spewing the plume and the same line. Let me back it up to show you. Right over next to the existing rails. <laughs> and that's just going to spew right out over our mother earth, over our beautiful sky. And well... To be honest with you, our skies aren't beautiful anymore. They're all chemtrailed. But look at that nasty plume. And if you think that's a passenger jet, <laughs> you really need to be put in a FEMA camp. This is toxic plume being exerted through either a turbofan or a backtail fin nozzle. Do your research. Look at that friggin' plume. And now Arizona is now the Valley of the Sit. Just a few minutes later, I step outside and look how this dispersed. You can see the soot just lingering and hanging as it falls from the sky, poisoning you, toxifying you, destroying your lifespan as your nasal, ca nasal cavities get plugged with aluminum nanoparticles and many other things. Radioisotopes. This has been already known. Everything is happening, people. Everything is happening. This is your Thanksgiving here. 
in the great southwest. Look at that plume. Just walking down my driveway just seconds later, picked up this rail way in that back horizon. This guy had spun that rail there. A little blurry, sorry. But there's that rail. Still blurry. In any event, you can see the railing that they're doing. They're putting together the cloudoids, double rails there. Soot falling already, it's been spraying all night. They blocked the full moon last night. Here's this eastern sector. Look what they did here. God dang, what a mess. White soot falling from the sky there, a little black soot there. The whole sky is almost completely covered with chemtrail plume. And then they had to just lay a couple of chemtrail bombs of thickness here. They kind of make you confuse the public, think they're clouds. Look at this in that western horizon. And I'm not even in the gray wide open yet. Won't be there for at least an hour. I'm going to have me some breakfast, but look at that. Look at that plume. Oh, heaven help us. Seconds later, as I go back into the house, look at this plume just falling from the sky. It's even falling faster than what I just showed you moments ago. If that doesn't convince you that this is friggin' black soot falling out of the sky, well, I don't know. I don't have to tell you what I think, okay, and what I feel. You already know the answer. It's 8 o'clock, and we got a guy spraying a rail between those fake uh, plumes. So they tried to make a cloudoid. This guy went right through there, and he's right here. See if I can reel him in. It looks like he stopped his plume. Oh, I gotta get this guy. Let's see. Oh, man. There he is. And now he doesn't have any plume. You see now what they're doing. The on and off spraying covertly. Covering up the skies, blocking the vitamin D3, destroying the earth, everything on it, including us. And people still have trouble understanding what's going on. See if he lays any more plume. He just went into that plume. As they're just, you know, piecing together little pieces. This on and off plumes. as he heads into the other plumes. See how he just disappears into the plume? So people wouldn't understand it. Here's the damage he did. He turned it off there and sprayed it right into that existing plume. Glad I stepped outside when I did, otherwise I would have missed it. Looking straight up to this configuration, this looks like that paint mix the indigo skyfold people were talking about. They use in the South Pacific to block the satellite radar for showing uh, different enemies, so to speak, uh, where their bases are. It looks like an orange peel, but it almost looks as if it's kind of an oil-based paint just splattered up in the sky. Then the wisps underneath, so that's not oil-based, so they've got so many different mixes. Look at this plasmatic bomb here. When that all, it's just going to be a white soot mess today. That one too. It's already collapsing on the bottom. This wisp, look at this. It's just already whisked all the way across. Look at that. Into that oil base. You can see where that chemtrail was still left in there. See that? You can still see the bomb. Everything's starting to break apart already. They sprayed all night to get this to happen. Well, it's a little after 9, close to 9.30, and we got this chemtrail rail. Christmas tree bulb effect to connecting the two plumes, the one down there, and then the one up there. See how covertly they're doing that? So you never even notice what the hell's going on. They just keep connecting and connecting, turning the plumes off and on, so you don't really see them spraying. Because where's the rest of the rail? Follow it in there, it should come out somewhere, and I don't see it. Now, if you people still think these are clouds, look at the little chemtrail rail this guy left right in here. 
See the Christmas tree bubble talking. But look at these clownoids that got bunched up. Look at that. They look like little stratosphere housing facilities or something. With soot falling from the bottom. It's just absolutely notorious what the people are doing to us. Sky almost completely plumed. And I haven't even been to the gray wide open yet. Well, today is Thanksgiving. According to the calendar, November 26, 2015, I'm Joseph Clyde for AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fain YouTube channel, bringing you the Thanksgiving edition of grid work, geoengineering on a daily basis, and look what the geoengineers have done today. The whole western sector has already been plumed up. Okay, as I paint, I got a little hole in the grid here. Heading into the west, you can see the soot and what they're doing. Look at that soot there. Look at it just falling from the sky. Let's keep panning. You can see what the chem trailers have done. They've got the whole sky just about completely blocking the sun. Especially this sector here, north and then northwest. Look how the grid is. Look at the edge of that grid. You can see the rails that they have created and sprayed. All you do is you got that light gray blue sky in that horizon. A few cracks here and there in the grid. But you can see how the wisps are all wisping apart. They all make the connection. The whole sky will be plumed real soon here. There's your Thanksgiving people, 2015. Well, it's 10 o'clock. What we got here? What the hell do you call that? Some type of fin work? Frequencies are blasting. They're doing whatever they can. Dumb us down. Look at that soot. Wow, the active has spring has stopped. Well, we got some beautiful fin work up over that mountain range. You look at those fins, and you see it's right over the cell tower array. There's one. Second one's over here in the fins. Are directly above. See the fin work over here, leftover rail with bits and pieces that broke apart. Look at this. <laughs> and look at these fins. Beautiful fin work up in there. Beautiful fin work. They got that to fin out beautifully, didn't they? Out here, got more fins. And a bunch of white soot. Over here, we got some of that paintball plume. White soot just dropping out of the sky like crazy. Wisp over here all falling apart and wisping real nice. Plume there, look at that plume. My God, look at that plume. The rest is just a blue gray sky. If I step outside the door, I caught this rail. Spun through in the midst of all this orange peeling fins. Look at that orange peeling fins. Look at that orange peel. It's finned work. Look at that orange peel through there. Camp trails over there marking the X. See that? All the camp trails all wisp. Happy Thanksgiving, America. Camp trail way in the background. It's all camp trailed. You can actually see the white soot falling down over here. My God, help us please. Look at that thin work way up back in there. Well, I'm just out back. The skies have cleared off. You can see it's not even blue anymore. It's a greenish ocean kind of a turquoise. Nah, I don't know. Backward sunset in that eastern horizon. You can see the pink color, pink hue. Goes way all up in there. A little green, yellow. I think it's to the blue straight up. It looks like blue gray. And the same thing over here. It's just a shame. We allow these geoengineers to pollute our skies. And Al Gore has the guts to say it's global. He doesn't even say global warming anymore. It's climate change. They changed it to confuse the public. How ridiculous. People are that dumb down to believe it.